I'm going to continue featuring some of the personalities that you'll find at Sunset Celebration. Now there is such a variety of performers appearing nightly at Mallory Square. I've had the privilege of having some of the entertainers on the show and I truly adore these guys. I've recently introduced you to Will the Juggler and Tightrope Walker along with Dominic and the Catman. This morning I'm excited to be talking with one of the musicians. Now he's a singer, guitarist, graphic artist and composer who's been turning out great work for years. Bert, thank you for being with me on the show today. It's my pleasure. <laughs> thank you for having me, Jenna. Well, it's great having you here. I'm so happy to have you as a guest, Bert, and to hear a little bit more about you. And I want to hear how you came down to Key West. Well, I originally came to Key West as a child. My father in the 50s worked as the manager of the local Coca-Cola bottling plant while it was still there. So he would bring us down and we were living in Miami at the time, but we'd spend uh, weekends here. Um, later on in my life, when I was in my 30s, I decided I needed a break from New York where I had lived for about 15 years. And I came here applying the trade of street magician and theatrical tech. I was working as a theater manager at that time. So I found uh, this a very ideal place to settle. Mm -hmm. I worked on Mallory Pier. I worked for some of the local theaters, notably the Red Barn, Tennessee Williams Fine Arts Center, the Waterfront Playhouse. And I put on shows here and uh, did my magic and my music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so music though, has this always been a passion of yours? It's my main passion mm -hmm. in life. I started playing music when I was uh, about six or seven years old. My first instrument was a little violin that I was given. Mm -hmm. uh, I sawed away at that until I drove my family quite bonkers. Uh, then I took up the, you know, the sort of instruments that kids get in school. I played the recorder for a while, then the clarinet, then back to the violin, which I played up to my middle teens. But then one day somebody put a guitar in my hand and it mm -hmm. kind of changed my life. Mm -hmm. And I played for a couple of years uh, just beating at this sad little guitar that had a cowboy roping a steer on it. And I got kind of mysteriously good and I had the great uh, honor and privilege of my first serious teacher being Jose Feliciano. Wow, yeah. wow. So it was just history from there. It was just history from there. <laughs> I never stopped doing it. All right. Now, I understand that you're one of the co-founders of Sunset Celebration, so you've been with it since the beginning. That's right. Um, when I came here in 83, I spent about a year and a half here. Uh, at that time, it was pretty clear to us that we were going to need to take the event in our own control, otherwise it would sort of dissipate. Uh, I went back to New York briefly, and during that period of time, the CPS was formed. And when I told the people in that, that would be Will Soto and uh, Richard Tocci, Karen Bertucci, a gang of really, really um, high energy people that saved the pier for us, they invited me back to serve as pier manager. And I was then, in fact, the first official manager of the Sunset Celebration event. And you're still manager today. That's correct. Mm -hmm. When I came back a few years ago, they offered me the job again. My first reaction, truthfully, was, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but I thought about it for a while, and I realized, really, my heart was in it, and I wanted to help it survive. Mm -hmm. What do you think of all the changes that you've seen over the years happening there? Well, the changes in Key West are a microcosm for the changes in, uh, I mean, in Mallory are a microcosm for the changes in Key West. Uh, there's been a lot of, a kind of gentrification occurring. Some of the original spirit has kind of faded. But there's still a core of that warmth there. Um, I'm sad to see it sort of flagging as an event in the public eye, but I think we're making a comeback. Uh, it is and remains the longest running event of its sort in the United States of America, uh, a free event in a city where there are very few and a family event where there's almost none. Right. So I'm very proud of our achievements there. Mm -hmm. And you guys all have so much talent. You're so interesting okay. and, and so neat. So I, I hope that this continues. And now, I know you spend some time in New York City. You come back and forth. Do you prefer Key West? That's a tough question. <laughs> There's a lot I really, really love about New York City, not the least of which is my dear wife who loves the place and lives there. Mm -hmm. uh, I will end up being by her side. But I still feel that I owe some of my energies to this island, and I had planned to stay here until this next little gambit is all played out. Mm -hmm. uh, I got back here about four or five years ago and one thing I have not had to my satisfaction is a return to my career as a musician on this island. But this year I feel that that's breaking. People are rediscovering my music mm -hmm. and I plan to make this my year for playing music in the island. And you do. You play at other locations besides just Mallory Square. Yes, I do. Uh, I play at a number of private events. I play at Blue Heaven doing brunches there. Um, 
And uh, this year, it looks like there's a lot of the local clubs that are finally interested in hiring me. So I'm looking forward to playing uh, any number of venues on the island. I plan to put most of my energy into that. What kind of music do you play? That's one of the <laughs> things that's odd about me. Uh -huh. Anyone who's visited my website knows uh -huh. it's kind of everything. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. that's what I'm proud of. I do just a little bit of everything. I don't have a favorite style. My criteria is, is it heartfelt? Mm -hmm. If it's heartfelt, I don't care if it's country, swing, jazz, rock, blues. If it comes from here, mm -hmm. then it's going to come from there. I think that is the best kind of music. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> and you are going to be letting our audience get to hear you play. We're going to take a quick break right now, but we will be right back after this, and Bert will be playing Seabreeze. Seabreeze for us. Stay with us.